start by asking each of you to give us a brief description of what you feel the challenges are to integration and uh, how there is this demonization of the other, uh, the scapegoating of the other, particularly the colored immigrant, the Muslim immigrant, uh, the immigrant from South Asia, uh, and how the creation of the other is important to the rise of cultural and uh, nationalist xenophobia. So uh, let me start maybe with Philip, if you could talk about the UK experience and Brexit, and then we move to Deepa and then to Akar. I think that my, um, where I start from is really from um, Amartya Sen's argument that the that freedoms are, uh, are there not to be imposed, but really to allow people a free path towards fulfilling their own capabilities and potential, whether that means to um, make sure that they can get to a voting station to cast their democratic vote or to be able to communicate with members of their society to have access to education. Um, and that particularly goes, I think, for um, for immigrants, whether recent or, um, or by descent, to um, a society. It does seem to me that one of the things that gets in the way of, um, of people fulfilling their, um, uh, full, fulfilling their potential and allowing their society to fulfill, the society that they've chosen to live in, to fulfill its potential is prejudice and barriers and the demonization of people because of just who they are. And that, uh, that goes not just for people on racial or, uh, or religious grounds, the so easy way in which you know, people like um, Trump or the uh, Brexit scoundrels have been able to suggest to people that the reason that the UK isn't doing better is not that uh, uh, we handed uh, 200 billion pounds to a failing Scottish bank, um, but because of, um, because of a few, uh, few hundred thousand Polish immigrants are, um, are living in the country. I think that, uh, that demonization is, um, is actually a, a, a terrible thing. But, also, but the, the state also ought to be doing a lot more to say, to say to people coming into this country, particularly vulnerable people within those communities, um, to say, to, um, say to, to women who might find it quite difficult to get out into society, these are the ways in which you can access libraries, books, you can, you can if you like, you know, learn how to speak and write in our language without at any point imposing a set of views on each on these people. I've, I'm very, very worried about the idea that Britain, which has always been a pluralist economy, a pluralist intellectual economy, should start to say, well, the key point of um, the key point of uh, of being British is that you love the Queen. Now, I see, it seems to me that a key point of being British is that you have the choice whether to love the Queen, never to give the Queen a moment's thought, or to th think that the Queen is uh, a dreadful old sponger of uh, our taxation. I mean, it doesn't seem to me to be a qualification for being British at all. And I think you can say, you should say to people, um, we're going to give you these opportunities if you take advantage of them you know, that's all well and good. You are free not to take advantage of these opportunities. And at the end of taking advantage of all these opportunities or not, you are perfectly at, at ease to believe whatever you feel you want to believe. So there's a denial of political freedom to the yes. immigrant. Uh, the immigrant is supposed to fit a certain uh, stereotype that uh, the immigrant is always colored, always defined by religion, not defined by political identity or by ideology. Yes, I, I think that uh, one of the lessons of, um, of recent British political history is that um, the, um, the, the, the immigrant, which uh, pollsters um, have always assumed could be uh, placed in a particular political spectrum, 
uh, to, to people's astonishment, they turn out to be human beings <laughs> and to uh, not always to vote for the people who you think you're going to vote for. It's one of the things that totally took um, pollsters of the 1970s of uh, surprise that um, the Jewish community in London um, turned en masse to supporting Mrs Thatcher um, and 10 or 15 years later the um, entrepreneurial um, Asian business uh, community similarly started voting for the Conservative right. Party but they were immigrants they were you know they were they weren't they weren't white why weren't they voting for well you know they're allowed to vote so by definition like, colored people are the on the loony left uh, fringe and they're not supposed to have poli they're not supposed to have political choices but I think actually to say oh well now all uh, all Asian people are entrepreneurial and therefore they are going to vote for the conservative is party, equally is equal I mean right. the thing the danger of the immigrant in a society is that three quarters of their humanity has been um, has been ignored you know, they, they almost seem in people's concepts to be simplified versions of human beings. And right, that right. I think that's very, from. very 